Hello everyone, this is Mainak and you are watching Civil Pro YouTube channel. So today we will discuss about beam numbering in StatPro. First of all, quickly we will uh, show you the process of beam numbering and then show you why is it required. So uh, quickly, uh, if you want to observe the results of a particular beam, that is the design of a particular beam, you have various methods. Suppose I want to design, uh, observe the design of this particular beam and double click and click on concrete design and then I know the you know bar size and also the AST also here and I can just uh, keep this window open and click on any beam or column and I find the concrete design here okay so this is one way but when you prepare the structural drawings we need a particular format in which we want that so uh, for that uh, we can go to utilities here and go to the analysis output after the model is complete and just open it and then we have the beam results here and uh, I'll just zoom in for you okay and then we have beam number one you can see the beam number one results and suppose you want the results of beam number uh, let's say 53 just copy this and uh, control plus F here okay and paste it here and after that uh, type here 53 and uh, do one backspace here and then search so you can find the beam number 53 AST top and bottom here so like this you can find out and uh, you can locate this using just uh, left click here and locate ship plus B uh, so you uh, know the location of the beams here but you can see there is no particular order uh, of this particular beam number so I'm going to turn it off on uh, some time so we are going to renumber the uh, beams and columns in such a way that we know that uh, which one is which so I always use the uh, ship plus one key for the front view so what we'll do I press shift plus one so go to going to the front view so you want to do this this is the uh, option for all these beams and columns for the plinth level and below the plinth level will do uh, in uh, start starting digit will be one and this will be two this will be three like this if you do then it will be easy for us to you know observe the results for the stat model so if you are not using rcdc you will be using like this uh, to verify the stat model or if you are uh, sometimes in wetting also uh, this process is helpful to know like which uh, result is or, or which one okay if you are preparing the report using the stat results also that is also very useful like if you want to observe or check so that's why you do this okay so let's get uh, straight to this uh, doing the things so we'll go to the isometric view first uh, and then then first of all we'll close this uh, analysis output result because it will change obviously so first of all uh, we'll go to geometry and we'll uh, go to select node cursor and click here and press ctrl plus a so you can see all the nodes selected uh, so we'll go back to geometry and renumber nodes do you want to proceed y yes and y join number or the y coordinate okay the y coordinate will rename the nodes in ascending order starting from one except and yes so all the nodes are renamed you can see the see it by using ctrl plus and uh, you can see all the nodes have been renamed here so just uh, first of all redeem all the nodes first so we've done this step and you can see node cursor is on to go back to the beam cursor select and press escape two times you go back to the beam cursor so press ctrl plus a this time all the entire <laughs> structure is selected here now in the uh, in the particular option of geometry you will find this option right so in here you have the renumber beams option so click this be number of number beams yes and uh, here by you know uh, you have uh, the various options in which you can do so this is the y coordinate and you have the member number so we'll select the y coordinate here or you can select member number also we'll select the y coordinate here and uh, accept and yes so the beams have been uh, renumbered here okay i'll press shift plus b to see the uh, you can see i putting the y coordinate so at least this uh, all the beams have been now in ascending order like uh, you can see here this has been done you can see these are the columns and these are the beams but still we have not achieved our objective okay to achieve our objective we have to go to the you know front view so we will go to the front view using shift plus one okay there is a shortcut so i will just turn it off now okay and turn off the nodes also shift plus n okay now uh, we will select this plinth level and uh, below the print level and we'll go to geometry and uh, we'll use this option of uh, renumber beams and yes so uh, here uh, we'll use the member number uh, here ascending and it will be starting from 1000 okay uh, starting from 1000 and click on accept okay and we'll select next one and we'll again select this option and yes 
and select the member number and this will be starting from 2000 so you can select more than 2000 also this is stock more structure so select 2000 the structure is large you can select 2 lakh also just the objective is that 2 if, if, if 2 is at the starting means it is the uh, first floor so like this ok so click on accept and ok select the next floor and then uh, you can select this option yes and your member number like 3000 and accept and ok so select this and uh, select this and yes member number now this is ok this was uh, four, this was 1000 2000 3000 now this is 4000 right so select this member number 4000 accept ok so now if you see a particular location uh, when you press press shift plus b here not be visible here so let's, uh, let's try to make it visible suppose we select this one and right click and click on new view and click on ok and uh, let's go to the isometric view here and isometric view shift plus b select first and then press the 63 plus b you can see the numbers all are in 1000s okay uh, 36 31 32 27 so it starts from here 15 16 17 18 19 uh, 20 so like this it, it is come but uh, all the beams and columns are or in 1000 okay and similarly if you just go to the display whole structure front view using shift plus one and then use uh, this particular floor you can see all these are in 2000 all these in 3000 all these in 4000 so like this you can renumber your beams and press shift plus b again to you know just get rid of this uh, renumber your beams and then when you go to utilities and you go just open the or not uh, open the uh, you cannot, you cannot open the analysis output because I have changed the beam numbers. You have to design the file once again, analysis and design. Let me run the analysis once again. Okay. So after I run the analysis, I will go to the same beam number and I will show you one example of how to do this. So uh, find the design of a particular beam. So you can, we can just uh, simply go view output file also like this also. Okay. And then press here. Just I will zoom in here and here I will go for the beams. So we know now all the results of the, for the beams here. So suppose I want to see the result of a particular level. Suppose let's go to, for the plinth level beam only. Okay. So we're going to go to uh, so press shift plus one for the click here first shift plus one for the front view. Select on the plinth level and right click and click on new view and click on OK. And then we uh, go to the top view here. Okay. And press okay. Let's put the isometric view and press shift plus B. Okay, so you have the view numbers here. So you want to find the result of 1036. So 1036 and 1037 pretty much the same, same span. So we want the result of 1036. So we'll select this view number, copy, control plus S, and uh, in place of 15, now uh, we'll do 36. Enter. So you can see the size is 250 to 350 mm, cover is okay, 30 mm. And uh, the top reinforcement, you can see this is the top reinforcement, and the maximum reinforcement will be, will be prevalent here in all the sections. Here, you can see its so maximum is 633, so 633, and the bottom bottom reinforcement, the maximum reinforcement is uh, 300, uh, 302. So, you can find the <coughs> maximum reinforcement 302. I think uh, if you give uh, uh, you know, three bars of 12 mm, this will be enough. With one bar of 12 mm is 113 square meter. And uh, here, if you give uh, uh, three bars of uh, 16 mm bars, it will be 600 mm. Okay, so three bars of uh, you know, uh, 16 mm and one bar of 12 mm as extra reinforcement will be enough for this. Okay, because 633 is only at the end, you can see in the middle, the reinforcement is much deeper, is much less. So, uh, you know, three bars of 16 all through and at the starting at the end, at the end, only one bar of 12 mm is enough as the extra reinforcement. So like this, we decide the reinforcement here. So for any particular beam, we can find out the reinforcement. Similarly for columns also, if you want, uh, let's go and uh, click on display whole structure and let's find the reinforcement of column of particular level here. So I press uh, click here and let's press shift plus one and then I'll just select this particular group of uh, column here for column this in this is small um, building so obviously i will will we will have to give the same reinforcement uh, we it meant to not reduce as you go up 
as in the case of multi-story building so just uh, select this obviously and uh, then we will go and click on uh, new view okay and uh, click on the isometric view you can see the column here so suppose you've got to see the reaction of 1007 so here and uh, we'll go to column and column number 1000 here you can see 100 plus c 100 plus b 1007 just press 7 here enter and if we uh, and you can see the results here required steel area is uh, 24985 so uh, required steel area so main reinforcement you can see 820 dia reinforcement it is there so it is okay the reinforcement so 8 bar of 20 mm we have to provide in this particular column so the column reinforcement also you can find uh, like this so like this in step pro itself you can effectively find out the design uh, and you can use this for detailing effectively so uh, like the video to increase uh, with this pattern in the youtube algorithm and help me out okay thanks for watching keep learning bye bye